three players from the east of England fighting against the lone invader yeah. in Tarek. But first, the two kings of the east of England are stepping up to the plate. And once again, the question remains, old guard versus new guard. Oh, yes. Pelly versus Bloom forever. Oh, yeah. Storylines are being written here, Joycey, right now, right here in this room. Bloom versus Pelly. This is going to be exciting. This is going to be so exciting. I don't know how often these two are faced off as well, but it is going to be Bayonetta versus Sonic. Yeah, and that is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. Of course, Bloom having such a plethora of characters and so much experience with different matchups, and particularly Sonic being such a prevalent force in the online bracket. But this is offline, and this is a Sonic that is Pelly. You know, easily the strongest Sonic probably in Europe at this point, at least a contender for it. Yes, exactly. Now, of course, Bloom, you know, not going to be messing around with other characters here. Going to be immediately, you know, this is Winner's Finals Game 1. Going to be going down main here with that Bayonetta. Now, Heli, you know, got to try and deal with this sort of very sort of passive Bayonetta right now. You know, of course, got to deal with the fact that, you know, if they make one mistake, Bloom is going to be in their face. And that is what we're seeing right now. Yeah, and the thing is, Peli themselves, the, so these two have played, certainly in friendlies, a little bit. And one thing that Bloom definitely noted about Peli is their excellent SDI out of Bayonetta combos. Of course, if you don't have the SDI down, you can die at crazy early percent. But Bloom is going to have to play honest, because Peli is not going to be falling for combos with shoddy SDI. But if you jump into back edge, you might lose your stock a little bit earlier than you want, Peli. You've got to be careful. Yeah, this is already looking quite painful for Peli here. Of course, that's back within coming out there. Just going to phase through that side B there. That is going to be such an important and huge tool for Bloom in this set, I think. We are seeing already both of these players enjoy the slower pace. Pelly trying to bait Bloom into going for an unsafe option, but Bloom just happy to hop around, make sure that he meets Pelly. And with a dash attack like that, suddenly the onus is on Pelly to approach, and Bloom is going to be happy to meet him there and make him a bit smart. Yes, exactly. And oh my goodness, Pelly just diving down there to try and catch Bloom off guard. It almost works as well, however, Bloom is going to be still hanging on to there. All three stocks quite happily right now. He's just flying around, just trying to find these little bits of damage here and there. Yeah, and you can see already Pelly getting the spin dash into the border. It can be a little bit inconsistent, but thankfully working for Pelly right when they needed it. And this lead is definitely easy to get, but the homing attack being met with the up tilt and a little bit more percent. Bloom going all the way off stage, 90% on Pelly. Bloom second stock unanswered. Again, a beautiful just awareness from uh, Bloom. Oh my goodness, that is the stock. I couldn't even finish my sentence, Joycey. I couldn't even finish my sentence. At 145% when you're that high in the blast zone, no SDI, no normal DI is going to save you. And Bloom with an entire stock under their belt. Pelly trying to get something started. Bloom just airs on your way from that up air. And you can see Pelly beginning to panic a little bit, trying to get back down after quite the early up B. Pelly catching with a dash attack as well. You can see up throw into the neutral air. Pelly doing such a good job at making sure that their combos are airtight. Of course, back with him being frame two. You've got to be so careful. Oh, absolutely. Bloom really starting to take this game by storm here. Still hanging on to two stocks. Meanwhile, Pelly fighting for his life on his last one there. You can see just retreating back and forth, just trying to find an opportunity where Bloom will drop his guard. But Bloom definitely not going to be doing that at all at any point. They are just happy to keep their distance. They will wait for Pelly if need be. Yeah, and that spin dash to forward air, not quite going to be enough. Charging the forward smash, hoping that Bloom would maybe drop down, holding it a little bit longer, but Bloom knowing better than to let that kind of thing happen. And once again, this excellent SDI from Pelly is coming in time and time again. Bloom is getting these sort of two and three pieces, getting maybe about 20%, and then Pelly is just able to retreat into neutral. Good job that Bloom rolled instead of spot dodged because he would have met Sonic's surprisingly long arms. Yes, uh, for sure. And now, you know, Bloom just again just taking this off. Does catch the Pelly up in the air there, but not going to be able to get anything else. Meanwhile, Bloom misses a tech there. Are they going to be able to make it back? Yes, of course, Bayonetta. Yes. And good recovery. Yeah, one of the best recoveries, if not the best recovery in the game. So many chances to mix up and do a good job at just getting back. Keep your opponent oh. guessing. The witch time. One jab. 
One forward air, one up smash. Yeah. One game to Bloom Forever. That is all it takes, of course. That that's that. Which time does just come out. There's not really much Pelly can do about it. Gonna be met with that giant fist. Send the blue hedgehog up to the skies. So, so difficult. Yes. And what was wonderful was that Bloom threw the option out at the last moment where it would have given him the most reward. And that is the true flagship sign of a top player. You don't show your hand until you're guaranteed to win it. Yes. No, absolutely. And this is exactly what we're going to be seeing here. You know, already though, Pelly just firing off, you know, again, some big hits going almost immediately into the game. You know, sort of fighting with some renewed energy here as it is a fresh game. Yeah, Pelly definitely taking a bit of a small lead right now. Of course, Bloom answering back with 30% of his own. However, Pelly just elected to get on out of there, get that spin dash into the back air. Lovely parry on the afterburner kick. However, not going to get too much off of it. And you can see there, just waiting for the down air. They're coming back. Bayonetta not being able to snap to the ledge very easily, but unfortunately, one disjointed hit stopped that forward smash attempt from happening. And suddenly, we're back in neutral smart. Yeah, and I'd like to point out as well that, of course, you know, it was that one disjointed here, which Bloom was then able to convert into many other, uh, you know, back with it. Um, which time? Yeah. yeah, it's so, so difficult. You can see both of these players just sort of gently weaving around each other, trying to make sure that they are not the first one to lose that stock again. We've mentioned before, both of these players enjoying that defensive play style. And the back air from Pelly. Meeting Bloom in the air is going to seal it and trying to get a bit of a cheesy roll in. But Pelly, he's been here a few times before. He's not going to fall for a trick like that. Yeah, no, Pelly absolutely playing this as he should right now. Being so much more careful in this game too than we saw previously. Making Bloom really just chase him down. Actually, we can see Pelly literally charging from one end to the other, just trying to catch this hedgehog. Yeah, and just look at the patience from Pelly, waiting for Bloom to throw out some of these options, just waiting out that witch time. The second time it would have been gone for in the set, meeting with a forward smash as well. And what started off, as, again, we always mention a bit of a fragile, a bit of a delicate lead. Pelly is just running away with it. Yeah, no, Pelly is really tearing this game up, you know, making Bloom really struggled for the stop there. Still hanging on, just giving Bloom zero opportunities to find anything meaningful. Yeah, and the forward tilt once again going to send Bloom off stage. Pelly just staying at arm's length, making sure once again the dash to the ledge and the back throw. Pelly knowing the perfect percent where well, that's going to kill and a three stock to one lead. This is going to be very difficult for Bloom forever. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. This is such a mountain to climb right now for Bloom. And such a difference from game one where we saw Bayland Bloom kind of just dominating across the field. Now, Pelly very much in the driver's seat here and still going. Yeah, and this is the thing with Pelly. He's been around the block before a few times, just about going to lose the stock to that back air. But Bloom is going to have to find not just one answer, but a hell of a lot of answers if they're going to be able to take this game too. Pelly has definitely made some excellent adaptations. And it's going to be down to Bloom to find it. However, a conversion like that, Pelly off stage, high up. Just about. Pelly still hasn't landed. Oh, is that no. your life? Oh my god. Do you see the stock was just obliterated in an instant? That is all Blue needed to get themselves back in the set. Just one conversion. That's all it takes. And, you know, leads can be terrifying when you've got a mentality like Bloom forever. You know, it doesn't matter. The mount No mountain is too high, too high to climb. And now Pelly just trying to keep this lead, which they did gather from those two stocks that they did have, you know, just to try and take it away. They are still very much in the driver's seat here. They can still take this game, but they need to play a little bit more carefully now. You know, they are on their last stock, and Bloom knows it. If they can find one opportunity to take away Pelly's stock, they will do. But Pelly isn't going to let it happen. Responds with that forward tilt there. Going to take the game away. 1-1. One, one. Yeah, thank goodness for Pelly's sake that just waiting out that air dodge inwards and getting the forward tilt to kill off that left hand yeah. blast zone. Pelly keeping that mentality again is so, so difficult when you've got such a lead and then you just see it crumble before your eyes. Yeah. But Pelly, again, we've said time and time again, Pelly is old guard. They have been at the top of the metagame for 
years at this point, and these years of experience are definitely showing in his gameplay. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Now, game three between these two. We've gone to small Bassfield, so a bit of a smaller stage, you know. Blue potentially looking to see if they can close the, da the gap between them just inherently by having a smaller stage. Yeah, I can definitely agree with this pick. The fact that Bloom has been doing a really good job at not only like getting these conversions from grounded hits, but also calling out Pelly's recoveries in the air as well, meaning that if you've got less of a stage, you've got less places to hide, and that is going to be really, really difficult for Pelly. However, trying to get something started here, the up air into back air, and it's just continuing another up air into the neutral air, 72%. And yeah, this is a good start for Pelly again. And good SDI there, you know, just falling out of the Witch Twist there. Not going to fall victim to any more from that. Yeah, and you can see Pelly doing a really good job at just mixing up the spin dash timings and also the distances as well. Bloom expecting Pelly to go a lot further, but just sort of staying behind Bloom's shield and then waiting for him to give up all of that stage control. And you can see already Pelly getting a really good idea on where Bloom wants to go after spin dash. But the only place that Bloom's gone is into that left blast zone, thanks to the back air. Yeah, that was just such a good call out there from Pelly. You know, knowing that Bloom was going to be very aerial, just going to jump there, get the back air, take the stock. And Pelly is playing on such a different level than we saw from that game one. He has definitely made the changes he needed to get himself back into the set, and it is really showing. Yeah, and once again, stellar SDI from Pelly. Any kind of conversions that Bloom is going to go for off of these side Bs just aren't going to work out. And what excellent spacing away from the heel slide. <laughs> Trying to go for that up smash, it not quite working out. Maybe a bit more of an optimistic option coming out there from Pelly. But again, Bloom's got to fight their way out the corner, managing to do so with a back air. And Pelly just getting back on stage. Is he dead? Not quite. Yeah, still surviving that, you know, fortunately he was a fire on the left side, however this grab is going to take away the stock instead. Pelly, put Bloom at triple digits though, this is still a very good thing for them, you know, they are still very much in lead. Going to try and call out a hard read there with that up smash, which isn't going to pay off, however, still looking quite comfy, but Bloom, you know exactly what they can do, they just need a few hits and they can match that damage. Yeah, and Bloom being relentless with platform pressure as well. Pelly just about managed to get out with their life, trying to catch this landing, just air dodging away. I think Pelly panicked a little bit there, maybe not quite going where they wanted to, and an unsafe aerial on shield is going to be met with a witch twist, but once again, Stellar SDI is going to oh, keep it out, but is witch oh, time too much? Yes, it is! Oh, there it is. The witch time comes out, and now suddenly Bloom takes the lead. It is a fragile lead, but it's a lead nonetheless. Exactly, and Bayonetta able to just rack up that damage output so, so much. And Pelly, knowing this, really going to choose their moment wisely to try and get it, meeting them in the air once again with the back air. Such a strong kill option for Sonic, and again, a dead even game. Yes, yeah. Doing excellent stuff there for Pelly, just knowing to you know, go for what they need to. And now, yes, as you say, it is an even game between these two. This could go either way. However, both players are going to be playing quite carefully here. Pelly just getting a few bits of damage in there. Meanwhile, Bloom trying to respond to these spin dashes. Yeah, I was going to say, Pelly's doing such a good job at getting those one, two hits and then returning to neutral. Pelly losing a stock too overextending and is making sure that they don't repeat that same mistake twice. Just about managing to catch the heel slide, trying to get the forward smash. Bloom's done such a good job at avoiding these and using the spin dash to just hop over the heel slide. Such good awareness. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Joycey, that's it. That's it. That's it. I see. And just a, a time and time again, these players come out of nowhere with these just absolutely extreme comebacks. We just never prepared for them. We're never prepared for them, Joy C. Bloom, the smallest little gap in Penny's playstyle, with the smallest little mistake, and suddenly he catches it. He takes Penny up to the sky, and that's it. That's all it takes. Bloom, 2 1 up. It's such a vital time to do it as well, even if it ends up going to that game five. You want that counter pick to be able to go into grand finals winner side, being able to get guaranteed second place. But Pelly, of course, not going to let that face him. He's going to do their best to just try and get back into this game. Going off to Kalos, a lot more room for Sonic to run around and a lot higher blast zones, meaning it's going to take a little bit longer for Bloom to get those kills that he's after. Yeah, and now 
you know, again, a very even game between these two. Bloom gets the uh, the Witch Twist there. Not going to find anything too much of it. Just good SDI from Kelly again. Who has been, it's just been so on point with all of these SDI across the entire set so far. Yeah, I was going to say, it's not these like traditional combos that you get from a heel slide that Pelly's losing the stocks to. It's more these high recoveries that Pelly's trying to go for just to get out of disadvantage. Of course, the spring at disadvantage is such a good option, but when Bloom is there and ready, it can just spell your doom so much earlier than it needs to be. Yeah, now Pelly just more than happy just to wait there, gets that back air. You do see the red lightning, but no kill just yet. Tries to go for the grab that narrowly misses. Yeah, I do wonder whether that was supposed to be a pivot grab trying to get to the side of the stage, but ended up dashing back instead. Thankfully, not taking too much of a punish. Bloom falling out of spin dash. Sonic's multi hits once again betraying Pelly at the moment where he needs them. Yeah, and of course, that back within as well coming in. Clutch when, you know, Bloom needed it. Now Bloom just hanging onto this ledge, just waiting for Belly, uh, Pelly to commit to an option of some sort. Yeah, it's so, so difficult. And you can see they're playing so gently around each other. Such high percents. I think trying to get the gimp with that spring being a little bit too far on stage. But a back air from Bloom Forever landing into the face of Sonic and taking the first stop. The landing neutral air not quite going to work. Even the dash attack. Maybe this counter pick is coming back to bite, bite Pelly a little bit. Yeah, but finally responds with that forward tilt there. Takes the stock away, and again, we're looking at an even game here. Two stocks apiece, but Blue finds that opportunity to get something going here. The count bow is not stopping, Joycey. That was 73%. What a statement to make, and the train just keeps going. Thankfully, Pelly's SDI once again coming in clutch, getting him out of a lot more damage than he needed to take the bat within. Trying to catch Pelly drifting behind Bloom, but however, Pelly knowing a little bit better than that, making sure they were outside of the range of that grab. Going for the aerial after burner kick, down air, catching Bloom unaware, but again, Pelly not getting too much off of it. It's just stray hits, stray hits, stray hits. No kills so far. Yeah, but Bloom is very comfy right now. Does go for the witch time there, hoping to catch that spin dash. However, Pelly was, you know, you know, smart thing and just to kind of wait a little bit. Maybe was predicting the witch time coming out. Maybe got lucky. Either way, could have pay off. However, Bloom, the spotty back was immediately getting that stock again and now sitting comfortably with those two stocks. And it's just got to take one away to make their way into Grand Finals. Yeah, and we can see these bread and butter conversions from Bloom Forever. 48, 61 at the moment, oh. going for the down smash. Pelly doing a really good job just getting around it. Bloom trying to end the set in style, but Pelly saying, I've still got a bit of blood left in me. I've still got some life, and you are going to have to really work hard if you want to take this game for an answer. Yeah, now this is a scary position for Pelly. They still need to take the stock away from Bloom. Meanwhile, Bloom is sitting quite comfy. You know, they've got those that stock to spare. They can wait it out. They can find the options they need. It is all down to Pelly. What can they do to get themselves back in? What can they do to take this to a game five? Yeah, and it's so, so hard. Sonic not really having the tools to challenge Bayonetta off stage outside of that spring and the forward smash. Of course, the two frame and the ridiculous range. But again, Pelly just electing to just keep it safe. Keep Bloom at the ledge. Run around, try and get it into there. Rage jab is not going to kill just yet. And a taunt from Bloom Forever trying to catch that roll in. Once again, even Pelly, Pelly looking at Bloom and shaking his head, saying, You really thought you could do me like that? Yeah, you could tell. Yeah, Bloom was trying to end it in the a spectacular style. However, Pelly was just, no, that's not how it ends. However, that back air is how it ends, and Bloom takes the set. 3-1 and is making their way into winner side of Grand Finals. The prodigy continues his rise to glory. The king of the East of England certainly looks like it might have been crowned. However, all three East of England players still ready, still fighting as one of them stepping up to yeah. the plate as we've got Lugi versus the Soul Invader in Tariq and Smar, this is a rematch.